So we've already talked about how addition and subtraction work with the equal sign. Let's take a look at how multiplication and division, how we can incorporate that with the equal sign, okay? Two x is equal to five, right? When they write two x, anything together like this, it just means multiplication, right? So two x is equal to five. As we talked about before, the way it works is, if you want to get rid of something on one side, all you gotta do is do the opposite to it, right? And if you do the opposite here, you have to do it here, because if you do something with it uh, to an equal sign, you gotta do it on both sides, because it's gonna balance things up. Over here, we got two x is equal to five, so you gotta, this is multiplication, you gotta divide by, divide by two. And you do it on both sides. So what happens is two divided by two, they just kill each other. So what you got left is x on this side, Line up your equal sign, 5 over 2, and that's your final answer. Now 5 over 2 is 2.5, but what you want to do is you probably want to start keeping things. What you want to do is that you, you want to keep things as fractions, because fractions become a lot easier to work with um, later on down the road, and especially when you start introducing other variables in there, okay? Super important to be comfortable, super important to be comfortable using fractions. Okay? Let's go deal with uh, division. So you should have guessed by now, if we want to get rid of a multiplication, we do division. So if we want to get rid of a division, we do multiplication, right? So let's say we have, let's say x divided by 5 is equal to 3. What we want to do is get x by itself, right? This is division, this is x divided by 5, so we're going to multiply this side of the equation by 5. That means we have to multiply the other side of the equation by 5, right? So all you do, I just usually put brackets and just go times 5. This reminds me that I'm multiplying this whole thing by 5, so I'm going to do the same thing here, times by 5. So 5 kills 5, if you remember your fractions, if you don't, you better go back to... Uh, uh, the first series and really learn how to deal with fractions because fractions are super important. They're going to keep on coming up and coming up. So on both sides, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. This is just 5 over 1. So 5 just kills 5. Anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom as long as there's no addition subtraction. Right? So this kills this. You got x left on this side. And 5 times 3, this isn't going to be, and if you want to remember that this is not a power, this is, you can put a multiplication sign, it's just a little x. So 5 times 3 is going to be 50. Okay, so the final answer for this one would be x is equal to 50. Now just remember this, this does not mean 5, time, uh, five to the power of 3, this means 5 times 3, it's just a notation we're using. If this gets you confused, just write the 5 here. Okay. This is how we isolate our variable when we have a division involved, right? Let's do one where it's got both multiplication and division and see how that works, okay? Something that has both multiplication and division, it just basically means you're multiplying the variable by, by fraction, right? So for example, okay, let's say we have 2x divided by, we have 2x divided by 5 is equal to 3. So we got both 2 times through times x here and x divided by 5. Now, what we want to do is do the opposite of what's being done here, right, to the variable. So what we can do is just multiply this side by the flip of this fraction. So take the 5 up here, take the 2 down here. So put your brackets there. So if you want to get rid of 2 over 5, you multiply it by 5 over 2. Put a little you can put a little multiplication symbol over here, right? So you multiply this side by 5 over 2. The 5 up here kills the 5 down here. The 2 down here kills the 2 up there, right? So 5 kills 5, 2 kills 2. So what you got left on this side is just the x, right? Now if you multiply this side by 5 over 2, you got to multiply this side by 5 over 2, right? So multiply this side by 5 over 2. Now on this side, all we got left is the x, right? Yeah? So on this side, this is just a number times a fraction. That's just 3 over 1. Top multiplies top, bottom multiplies bottom. 15 over 2. 
Okay. It's as simple as that. Just do the opposite to one side to get rid of something, and you got to do it to the other side. And fractions, this is multiplication and division. Now, addition, subtraction we've dealt with, multiplication, division we've dealt with, and those are what we introduced in series one. In series two, we start talking about exponents and radicals. So let's take a look at a variable, an equation where we have something to power of something, and you got an exponent or a, a radical, and see how we can isolate our variable by getting, you know, how we can get rid of the exponents and the radicals. Okay.